Hello, welcome to TJ13's roundup of the Chinese Grand Prix and what a race it was. I think ahead of this 2018 season, not many people were predicting a classic, but three races in, that's maybe what we've got. Time will tell, but uh, fingers crossed, and certainly today we had a pretty staggering race. Here's what the experts made of it. Lewis, you need to wake up at the start, mate. Certainly a funny race watching... Uh... Ferrari and Mercedes basically ignore the fact that Red Bull existed. Too busy covering each other off, Red Bull took advantage of the safety car, so they were a little bit fortuitous, but yeah, good result, and uh, Mercedes and Ferrari shouldn't count them out for the rest of the season. Well, it's really dull when at the first pit stop, the teams who are like five, four, six, and whatever, go for the hardest compound possible. Come on, strategists! Take a chance! Ferrari. First pit stop. What a disaster. Crap at strategy. Too busy, like, looking at nice paintings and girls' bottoms, I think. It's just an Italian thing. What a race for uh, Daniel Ricciardo. Fantastic result for Red Bull. Um, the website, TJ13, actually predicted Red Bull to be particularly quick on the uh, on race pace, so played out just exactly how we predicted. So happy to see a team uh, roll the dice with strategy, getting bored of this, like, you know, one-stop uh, track position strategists kind of attitude. They need to start thinking better than that, and, you know, let's drive as quickly as we can. Two, three stops. Great to see it, Red Bull. Bring it on! The other side of the garage, Max Verstappen's side, uh, didn't do particularly well. Again, more mistakes, more errors in trying to overtake. The, the kid's got speed, but he's just not got the patience. Uh, Ricardo showed him how to overtake and made him look like a bit of a rookie. Could have been Max's day today, but it wasn't. Yeah, I think everyone needs to chill out being so down on Verstappen. It kind of reminds me this season of the Cause I is Black Lewis uh, season where he was in front of the stewards like five times in the first six races. It'll all come good for the Dutchman. He's exciting. The Renault team, and in particular Nico Hülkenberg, showed a real turn of speed in China. I think they should be pleased with that because it bodes well for the rest of the season. I think they might well be ahead of McLaren really at this point. So uh, yeah, hats off to the guys from Enstone. I uh, think Australia should get a new national anthem. It's a bit trite. Fernando Alonso is really going to be cracking the whip at McLaren because they weren't particularly quick. He managed to get the best that he could. I think it's seventh place in the end. But they are so slow compared to Red Bull. He's not going to be a happy chappy. Driver of the day? Well, that's easy. Fernando Alonso passing Vettel, quadruple world champion, on the uh, race winning car. Um, got to be a great result for McLaren. Not a gun. So there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.